As the DNC approaches, Democrats are excited about their presidential candidate in a way they weren't just a month ago. A new AP NORC poll found that two thirds of Democrats say they'd be extremely or very excited if Harris was elected the next president. That's compared to only four in 10 who said that about Biden back in March. Voters, both Democrats and Republicans and particularly independents were not happy with a repeat of the 2020 election. So poll after poll, demonstrated that voters expressed some level of disdain and antipathy towards a Biden-Trump 2024 rematch. With that new enthusiasm, some Democrats are also more optimistic about their candidates' chances of winning in November. In early July, before Biden dropped out of the race, Americans were twice as likely to say that Trump was more capable than Biden of winning the election in November. Now, Americans are equally likely to say that Trump and Harris are capable of winning in 2024. The AP NORC poll also showed that Americans give Harris an edge over Trump on traits like honesty, discipline, and commitment to democracy. But Americans also gave Trump a slight advantage on his handling of immigration and the economy. Those are two issues that could be important in November. I would say on the flip side, uh, not all is lost for Donald Trump. Again, we are very early on in this fight. You know, this is if you follow boxing, you know, we're not even in the third or fourth round here. It's still a very competitive race. Americans are equally likely to see Trump and Harris as a strong leader and someone who is capable of handling a crisis according to the new poll. But there are also warning signs for Harris in the poll. Only about six in 10 Democrats trust her to do a better job than Trump handling the war in Gaza, for example, which was lower than other issues in the poll. The question is whether or not she can sustain this momentum, sustain this level of enthusiasm and excitement and get her to become the first uh, African-American female president of the United States.